Thank you very much. Good morning from me. Um, it's my honor to be here and I would like uh, to thank your uh, e-learning center and especially Christina Zirona and uh, Cesar uh, uh, Monfrod Carreras um, for uh, their invitation and for uh, the arrangement of all these things. Um, as I can understand, uh, Cesar um, introduced me as a um, teacher in uh, e-learning technologies. My, a research subject is um, internet technologies for supporting uh, uh, distance learning. So um, I'll try to present br briefly uh, the research lines of our um, um, laboratory in Greece concerning uh, the support of, uh, of uh, uh, educational um, <coughs> processes using uh, ICT and then I will um, present you um, uh, the uh, uh, work that we are doing on uh, 3D collaborative education in virtual, virtual environments. So, uh, first of all, I'll present um, um, briefly our university, our department, and our uh, multimedia laboratory. And then I'll present you um, the main topic uh, explaining uh, some basic terms such as uh, virtual environments, educational virtual environments, collaborative virtual environments, and so on. The benefits of uh, computer-supported collaborative learning and uh, how we can support it by vir 3D virtual environments. Also, I'll present you design principles uh, along with some examples for uh, supporting the design of these environments from the technological and functional point of view. Um, um, a way for compare um, uh, um, such platforms because there are many platforms available uh, either open source or uh, commercial and um, also an evaluation framework that we have uh, published um, um, last year and uh, then a case study of uh, a real case study of um, the exploitation of these environments using Second Life platform. So Aristotle University of Thessaloniki is the largest university in Greece. Uh, we have 42 schools and departments and more than uh, um, 90,000 uh, of uh, students. Um, we are more than 2,000 uh, uh, persons as academic and research staff. Uh, and we are um, in um, Thessaloniki, which is in northern Greece. Um, our department uh, was established in uh, 1992 as a part of uh, the Faculty of Sciences. Uh, we have um, um, so far um, more than um, 700 undergraduate students and more than 300 postgraduate students. Um, currently, are more than 900 uh, undergraduate students in our uh, department and more than 160 postgraduate students. We have um, five research laboratories cover covering the whole spectrum of the fundamental and advanced topics of informatics, uh, such as computer architecture and communications laboratory, artificial intelligence and information analysis laboratory, data engineering laboratory, and programming languages and software engineering laboratory. My um, uh, place is a multimedia laboratory. Uh, which uh, is uh, be directed by Professor Konstantinos Karanikas. Here is our website if you would like to visit us and um, um, <coughs> find more information about our activities. The main um, research direction is to uh, design, develop, and evaluate uh, technology and has learning environments. We are specialized in the design evaluation of multiple representations of learning and multimedia environments, design and development of multimedia, hypermedia, instructional software, instructional design, evaluation of uh, technology enhanced learning, adaptive hypermedia, and uh, design of intelligent agents and uh, collaborative learning communities. Um, our laboratory supports many courses, uh, undergraduate, either undergraduate courses or postgraduate courses. Here are some uh, examples 
um, the spectrum is, um, I think, uh, big uh, because uh, we try to offer courses such as didactics of informatics more uh, for a pedagogical point of view and also we try to um, uh, offer more technical uh, courses such as <coughs> uh, internet educational environments, uh, how we can develop or exploit uh, internet technologies in order to support such environments. The same it's uh, in uh, our postgraduate students, exams are multimedia learning or special issues of computer supported collaborative learning systems. If you want more information, so uh, then we can go to our website and uh, for, for, for there we can uh, find every information we want. The academic staff in our uh, laboratory is for, there are uh, four uh, persons, uh, Konstantinos Karanikas, our director, as I have said, Stavros Dimitriadis, Genesius Politis, and uh, we have more than undergraduate students working with us, uh, more closely with us, and more than uh, seven uh, uh, master students and more than ten PhD students. Some projects that uh, are uh, finished or uh, that we are working on is uh, about the reformation of current undergraduate st studies program in our department, the support, of the creation of and uh, support of uh, an educational support center in our university. Uh, we are also working um, <coughs> and offer uh, training and tutors concerning the educational usage and exploitation of ICT. Also, uh, we <coughs> Uh, uh, elaborate studies such as the organization and operation of a new university in Greece, the um, International Hellenic University, and we are um, participating in a uh, network of excellence such as the Kaleidoscope Network of Excellence, which is a big uh, network, and here is the, uh, um, some partners. Also, um, we are um, organizing conferences uh, the next conference that uh, we are organizing the um, INCOS conference, uh, International Conference on Intelligent and Networking Collaborative System, is the second time that this conference uh, will be organized. The first time it was here in Barcelona, uh, last um, September, I think. So uh, I would like to invite you to submit some papers. Uh, the deadline is um, about uh, end of June or the end of July. And also, we, we, we will try to, um, uh, to organize some workshops uh, specialized on uh, collaborative learning and, in the, and adaptive, uh, adaptive educational systems. So please uh, visit this, um, uh, this um, website in order to find more information. I would be more than happy if you uh, visit us there and we have the opportunity to to discuss again. So, some uh, research uh, directions. Uh, the first one is 3D virtual collaborative learning environments. I will um, present you this uh, in a more analytic way afterwards. Adaptive collaborative learning support, case-based learning using web technologies, uh, visualization of educational environments, and uh, uh, the support of argumentation with uh, scenarios and scripts. Uh, for uh, adaptive collaboration, uh, collaborative learning support, the research goal is to support collaboration and also to enhance peer-student interaction and uh, to enhance the cognitive benefits for, uh, for, uh, for our students. Our basic concepts and results until now is uh, that uh, we need to, uh, to um, use adaptation partners and uh, to, f to investigate how to adapt the collaborative learning activity when specific conditions secure on the fly. Uh, we have um, <coughs> resulted in a, a specific method, uh, the ACS method. Uh, with this method we can identify useful adaptation partners. Uh, we can implement and evaluate adaptation partners that the teacher considers useful. This is the top-down approach and also we can support the bottom-up uh, approach and identified possible adaptation partners emerging from the observed needs of the students during the activity. 
Uh, some results uh, concerning the domain specific support and uh, here uh, we have uh, investigated that uh, we have found that um, <coughs> we need to uh, prompt some uh, um, um, changes in the partner uh, on domain missed concepts. Students in the treat treatment group uh, outperformed those in control group in our, um, uh, in our experiments. Also, we have uh, some uh, findings in, uh, concerning uh, collaboration-specific support, uh, <coughs> advice based on student self-modeling of the peer-student interaction should be uh, offered to the students. Uh, the result is, is that peer interaction support rarely uh, used. Our future work here is to um, investigate uh, the adaptive domain-specific support versus um, fixed support and to implement the adaptation partners using learning design tools. Uh, another direction is the um, uh, case-based learning on the web. Uh, we have implemented from scratch a new uh, web-based tool called eCase. This is our eCase environment. Um, with this environment we can um, support case-based learning and um, uh, cognitive flexibility theory. Uh, the domain of uh, concerning case-based learning is uh, for uh, ill-structured subjects such as software uh, project management, uh, the design of class diagrams, etc. Uh, our approach is the learning in context and the emphasis is, is on cost context analysis and context awareness. And uh, also, uh, we try to uh, investigate uh, the question problems in, in uh, such uh, technology enhanced learning environment. Another uh, direction is the visualization of educational uh, environment. This is um, this work is uh, in the preliminary um, uh, steps in its preliminary uh, steps. Um, <coughs> Here we have designed the Alcolab um, environment, which is a web-based environment for the teaching of algorithms, which combines peer tutoring collaboration scripts and, algor and uh, an algorithm visualization uh, tool. Uh, until now, we have a very basic result from <coughs> an explorative evaluation study on a small sample of uh, students. And uh, we can say that the user of peer tutoring script is, is helpful and well combined with an algorithm visualization tool. The future work uh, here is to investigate the support of scripts in online environments concerning the understanding of algorithms. Also, we would like to investigate the visibility of the communication of the scripts with uh, algorithm visualization and their impact in the educational process and how the scripting techniques affect, affect the quality of, uh, of learning. The last direction is the uh, visualization of educational environments in order to support argumentation with scripts. Uh, our motivation is to <coughs> uh, support the students to develop their argumentation skills in order to develop deeper no domain knowledge and mental models for argument construction and argumentative uh, discourse. Also, <coughs> we would like to support the uh, instructional uh, designers uh, in order uh, for, for them to uh, support students by creating conditions for better, better learning through, through argumentation and also instructors by offering tools for argumentation based learning without imposing excessive workload. Uh, until now we have found that collaboration scripts can guide the process for successful argument construction and ar argument sequence. Also, they can scaffold uh, students by structuring in efficient directions and can result to significant learning benefits for students in most cases. Uh, also, there is uh, a need for script-based collaboration and our solution is uh, the, a new tool uh, developed uh, from scratch as well, IRU tool. And here is a screenshot of this tool. Um, but um, if you want more uh, information about that, I can uh, um, give them a contact information of the PhD student and um, 
in order to uh, send you some papers or um, um, or the um, uh, either the, the website of this tool in order to uh, evaluate it and use it. So uh, until now, I have um, um, I have tried to present you briefly uh, the situation in our university, the profile of uh, our team. Um, I don't know if you you have some questions. Um, about these uh, topics and th these research, research topics, but uh, uh, or to continue to present uh, the main topic of my presentation. Can can I? Okay. So, are my names co 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 concerning the <coughs> uh, uh, exploitation of uh, 3D collaborative uh, virtual environments is to support collaborative learning. Uh, to investigate the suitability of these environments in education and to compare uh, uh, some uh, already available platforms and propose some solutions. Here we can see some three-dimensional virtual environments. Um, all of these environments provide at least three main components. The first component is the illusion of the 3D space. The, the second one um, uh, are the avatars that serve um, as the visual representation of the users. Here we can see some avatars. I think this is my avatar. And here is my avatar presenting um, something in my students in the lecture room. <coughs> and also uh, they provide uh, text and voice chat um, functionality uh, for uh, supporting uh, users communication. There are many virtual environment types for commercial gaming. Uh, these are some examples of um, well-known games. Also, uh, they, are used, uh, they are used for socializing or uh, online community building such as Second Life and There. Uh, for educational um, uh, uh, goals, such as, again, Second Life, EVE, uh, and Active Goals Educational Version, and also as uh, working environments, collaborative work environments, as TICSEO and iImaginer uh, platforms. So, if uh, this is the area of uh, uh, the virtual environments, The educational virtual environments or EVEs are uh, special cases that can be used for educational applications. There are also collaborative virtual environments that uh, uh, where the users can meet, interact, and collaborate. But there is the there are the uh, uh, collaborative uh, collaborative educational virtual environments. We call the, them as uh, EVE is uh, <laughs> that are educational virtual environments aiming to support collaborative learning and support co uh, computer-supported collaborative learning. Computer-supported collaborative learning is an umbrella term for a variety of approaches in education that involves uh, the joint intellectual effort by the students or the students and the teachers and requires the use of uh, ICT. Uh, there are many advantages of the um, CACL, educational advantages. Our researchers have proven the effectiveness of uh, collaborative learning compared to the other educational practices, such as personalized learning. They believe that this method can aid the acquisition of higher level of cognitive abilities, uh, problem-solving abilities, scientific expression, and development of communication, social, and higher uh, order thinking skills. Also, uh, through CSCL, uh, teacher-student interactions became more balanced. Students ex exhibit a higher level of attention and learning becomes more student-oriented. Having in, mind, in our mind all these benefits of uh, CSCL, um, we are trying to investigate how uh, virtual environments can support uh, CCL. 
Um, our motivation <coughs> started um, from uh, uh <coughs> from the um, uh, the fact that uh, uh, virtual environments can set the conversation framework and uh, uh, in the implicit transfer of the communication policy of a group of of a person or a group of students, and they can support non-verbal communication and VC. Also. Uh, we think about how to exploit the virtual environments because they could lower inhibitions of the students, provide strong anchors from which classroom discussions can emerge. Also, they could uh, be enjoyed by multiple different personality types and could add uh, students discovering aspects of their own identity. But uh, there is a pitfall and we, uh, we try to um, surpass it because some educational institutions tend to take traditional classroom ideas and pedagogy and integrate them into a similar collaborative learning environment. The assumption is that uh, since these environments have features that allow the interaction that we see in the classroom, such as messaging, real-time meetings, etc., traditional pedagogy can be used. But uh, this is not true. This is a problem. Uh, the proximate result is uh, disappointing students and instructors and we need to think of a way how to uh, avoid this. And we need principles for designing such an environment, a guide for selecting an available environment, or a framework for evaluating um, um, a developed one. Uh, I'll try to present some principles with examples. Also, um, methodology for selecting, for comparing uh, such an environment and also a an, uh, uh, framework that uh, we have uh, <coughs> uh, presented, uh, we have published uh, for evaluating uh, these environments. The first principle is to design such an environment in order to support multiple collaborative learning scenarios. Um, <coughs> we can um, uh, design them uh, in order to uh, support the role planning, case studies, team projects, brainstorming, and many more. Here is an example. Uh, this is our um, uh, educational space in Second Life, and we have implemented two types of rooms, Jigsaw rooms for, for supporting Jigsaw um, collaborative learning scenario, and also feasible rooms in order to support the feasible um, scenario. I'll present you afterwards uh, how uh, <coughs> uh, the, uh, how um, we have deployed these scenarios in these goals. The second principle is to design these environments in order to maximize the flexibility within the virtual place. We need to give the tutor or the um, uh, administrator of this um, of this world. Uh, uh, the uh, ability to change some uh, space parameters like size, architecture, the physical environment, the objects that are there. And here is um, an example of uh, a tool that we've, we have implemented in order to create a virtual classroom. Here we can um, uh, select a, a collaborative learning technique and then create a virtual classroom according to the um, uh, to the um, number of, uh, of, uh, of students and uh, the number of groups. The third principle is to augment user representation and awareness. We can augment user representation uh, using avatars and also combining gestures, mimics, voice, text chat communication, and also the sharing of, uh, of use of the, or the point of use of the users. Uh, here are some examples. Um, this is a gesture for um, whispering. I can see that a student whisper with uh, someone else. Uh, whispering means that uh, they have opened the uh, private chat and uh, I can see it and their avatar. Also, uh, I can see that um, he writes something in uh, the, 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 the global chat, the group chat, and um, the last um, 
Uh, the last uh, phrase that uh, he has written is placed on top of his head in this uh, bubble, uh, bubble chat uh, function. Also, we can use uh, gestures uh, such as this. This is a simulation of this lecture now. I can uh, point on um, a specific place, a specific point in um, a whiteboard or a presenter. Uh, we have implemented more uh, metaphors. This is the speaker metaphor in order to see who is speaking now in the, uh, in the voice chat uh, channel. And also colored um, chairs in order to see uh, and understand <coughs> Uh, which is the group, the specific group of this student. But I can explain all, uh, some of these things afterwards in our case study. The second principle is to des design to reduce the amount of extraneous load of the user. The extraneous load refers to the uh, difficulties that, have, uh, that the students have or the, in general the users have for um, navigating in the environment. So we need to design a uh, um, uh, usable environment uh, <coughs> in order to, uh, um, to support the users to easily participate in the learning process. Here you can see some examples. Here is um, uh, another um, platform that we have implemented. And the first square is for the full shared areas. And here I can see everything that's shared. Here is um, uh, the avatars of the students. And everything that is, is changed here uh, is changed to all of the users. And this is the not shared area. It, this is the um, uh, functions, the buttons that I'm using personally in order to uh, participate in the virtual place. This is a bad, uh, a, a, a bad paradigm because there are many places, um, partly shared, full shared, or um, not shared, that are not in the same place in the screen. And this confuses the user what is shared now or, or, or not. Another, um, another um, um, approach is to augment the avatar and present on top of the avatar everything uh, every uh, information that um, uh, concerns the, um, uh, the actions, the activity of the avatar. For example, in this avatar, we can see the gestures, the text chart input with the speaker, the voice chat input, and also the representation of the user. And as I have, uh, uh, I will show you uh, uh, in the next slides, we can see the role of the user and many things. So if I am pointing on a, on a specific avatar, I can see everything. The activity, the role, everything. <coughs> the next principle is to design this, uh, uh, this place um, as a media learning uh, static virtual space. So uh, there we need to uh, enhance the communication among the users with multiple communication media layers. We can see uh, many, uh, and we can exploit many um, uh, functions here, many tools, such as the presenter, in order to present slides, uh, documents, etc. Also, shared text areas in order for the students to write it collaborative way, in a real time uh, way. Uh, their um, opinions here, uh, uh, these are the brainstorming boards. Uh, and also, <coughs> uh, we, are support, uh, we are supporting um, uh, text chat, voice chat, uh, function, uh, functions, etc. Uh, the next principle is to design a place for many people with different roles in order to support collaborative learning techniques. We need to have different groups, different roles, etc. So we need to find a way how we can represent this role. Here is a, an example. Uh, on top of this avatar, on top of this student, we can see three things. 
the first thing is that he's a moderator of a group, of the Magenta group, which is the fifth group. The fifth jigsaw group, I'll explain to you afterwards what, is, what a jigsaw group means. Also, it's in expert group four. So I, I can see that um, maybe Maria uh, is a moderator of, uh, of, of her group. Um, and also, uh, uh, she participates in expert group four. Following these principles, we can design or have a good um, uh, point of view about the design of a um, collaborative virtual environment. And also, we can use these principles in order to make a pre preliminary comparison of available collaborative virtual platforms. So if I go to Second Life and uh, find that uh, Second Life offers all these, uh, meets all these principles, then I can say that, okay, it's a good platform for collaborative learning. However, we need more criteria for an extensive comparison of available uh, collaborative virtual environments platforms. Because there are many platforms. Second Life, Active Worlds, Croquette, iImaginer, Workspace 3D. Croquette is an open source platform, not so good, but with uh, very good functionalities in, uh, in, in the paper, not in practice. So we need more, uh, more criteria. Our rationale is to uh, think about that the tools and functions that are integrated in the existing collaborative systems in order to facilitate the collaborative processes could support collaborative learning processes as well. So we can review collaborative virtual environments platform through the lenses of their support of specific high level functions that should be performed during collaboration. Examples are the appropriate means for dialogue and action, functions for workspace awareness, functions for supporting students' self-regulation or guidance, facilities related to teacher's assistance, and functions related to community level management. Here is the comparison of, uh, uh, of, of the platforms. First of all, we can see the tools for supporting dialogue and action. They uh, provide the essential means for supporting collaboration and communication. Examples are text chat, email, forum, video conference, etc. Here we can see by yes or no, or we can have a scale about that. Concerning these tools, also we have the workspace awareness tools, which, uh, which offer functionality related to up-to-date minute knowledge about partners' actions in close collaborative scheme or in a wide community of collaborators. Uh, uh, um, examples are role-playing scenarios, support of role-playing scenarios, portals, avatars interactions with objects, avatars teleportation, manipulation, gestures, etc. The third uh, group of tools are tools that support uh, or direct, uh, directly guide students' reasoning on a metacognitive level, such as annotation tools, programming, uh, programmable uh, agents, etc. Tools for teacher assistance, facilities that are essential for the teacher in order to follow and review the collaborative activities, such as log files, activity replay, activity recording. and also uh, significant tools and functions for the management of the activities and material produced among the wide uh, community, such as file sharing, forums, voting systems, and group creation uh, tools. After our comparison, we have resulted that Second Life um, seems to be the better platform, supporting everything or almost everything, uh, or supporting an um, API, an SDK, in order to create on top of it uh, the functions that are not supported. 
So second life also has been identified by many educational institutions internationally as having the significant potential for teaching and learning using uh, used by uh, many projects and many educational uh, institutions. Here are some uh, real screenshots uh, about the usage of, uh, of uh, Second Life for supporting conferences, lectures, uh, masters, etc. So our challenge is to evaluate the Second Life support in the collaborative learning process, to investigate which Collaborative learning techniques could be supported by such an environment, but we have uh, found that uh, there is no concrete evaluation framework for such an environment. There is no focused and concrete evaluation framework for evaluating CVs. On the one hand, there are many techniques for evaluating either the pedagogical or technical nature of collaborative sub computer supported collaborative learning systems but none of them is focused on the 3D nature of uh, the learning system. On the other hand, there are several evaluation approaches for 3D collaborative systems, but the, uh, none, of the, uh, none of these evaluation approaches focused on the pedagogical and educational na nature of any learning system. So we need to, uh, to find a methodology, and we have proposed and published uh, methodology for assessing both the educational and pedagogical nature of such an environment. Our rationale is to have an evaluation uh, framework <coughs> with uh, three phases. The first phase is the pre-analysis phase in order to um, define the evaluation methodology, who, how, and uh, what, uh, for what reason and also to um, elaborate evaluation questions about the usability of the learning outcomes. In the next phase, the usability phase, uh, we need to uh, inspect the initial applications in order to uncover the main design problems uh, and also to uh, clean up the, the design. And the third phase is to conduct pedagogical research and to test scientific hypotheses concerning learning and communication in virtual environments. This is uh, the learning phase. Uh, we propose to have two cycles uh, of evaluation. The first one is for pre-testing in order to find, to, to investigate the, the profile of our students. Uh, in the usability phase, <coughs> we have uh, three steps, the familiarization st uh, session, the co-pressing session, and the expert evaluation session. And then we have similar uh, cycles. I'll present you here in the pre-analysis. Our uh, first step is the pre-test in order to set the evaluation uh, goals and separate the target group into advanced and novice users. The familiarization uh, session is to uncover basic usability problems. Uh, of the most important parts of the user interface. The co-present session is to uncover usability of problems of the communication and collaborative functionalities of the first prototype. And the expert e evaluation uh, is uh, similar to, to familiarization and co-present session, but uh, <coughs> uh, expert, uh, experts evaluate all these things in order to have a better understanding of the usability problems. In the learning phase, in the learning um, step, in the first phase, we need to collect more requirements and additional functionality that we uh, need to implement in the next prototype. In order to uh, investigate the pros and cons of the virtual environment and determine the appropriateness of this environment uh, concerning different kinds of uh, learning scenarios. In order to have a first idea about the collaborative learning scenarios that we can deploy there. In the second cycle, the pre-analysis phase <coughs> is a meta-evaluation phase of the, of the step of the first uh, uh, phase. Uh, here we would like to ensure that the evaluation of uh, cycle one are valid, uh, accurate, and unbiased. In the usability session two, we need 
this um, uh, step in order to uncover usability problems of advanced features of the second pro prototype and in the uh, final uh, step which is the core scenario based session here we uh, try to collect information about the possible changing experience and attitudes of the users toward the virtual environments and also to discover the appropriateness of different kinds of learning courses and collect data about uh, the uh, functions that we need to implement more and more. This is the way that we are working in order to create such an environment step by step. And <clears throat> we'll, uh, we can go to our case study. Here, um, uh, we have designed and implemented several features concerning the enrichment of the avatars and nonverbal communication and students' virtual presence. And also, we have implemented virtual tools to enhance the collaborative processes between the among the students. Uh, features consist of gestures, animations, visual metaphors of uh, how av on how avatars are virtually represented, virtual, visual metaphors of the educational space and virtual tools. Uh, the aim of uh, our case study was to uncover usability problems concerning the usage of Second Life platform, collect students' feed feedback concerning the us usefulness of uh, Second Life design features in different contexts, and collect further uh, requirements for uh, <coughs> additional functionality that we need to um, support. Also, we would like to determine the online transferability of the jigsaw and feasible collaborative learning techniques. Our research questions were, were to uh, <coughs> Do the students perceive, to investigate if the students perceive Second Life an, as instrumental in the collaborative learning process? The second question is how does avatar representation influence collaboration performance in student groups and which metaphors and affordances can be used to enhance learning space awareness? Some words about the collaborative learning techniques that we have deployed. First of all, we have the uh, jigsaw techniques, which is a co cooperative learning method with increasing positive educational outcomes. Educational benefits of this technique include uh, listening, encouragement, engagement by giving each member, member of the group the essence, an essential part to play in the academic activity. And this uh, technique, has, uh, just as uh, a puzzle, each piece, each student, uh, is essential for the completion and full understanding of the final product of each group. The students initially create jigsaw groups for a subject, they develop knowledge about a given special topic of the whole subject forming expert groups and afterwards they teach it to, to the others of their groups. Here is an example. Let's say that we have uh, 20 students and uh, <coughs> we have five main subjects. For example, to create, to design a development learning management system, or to design a development uh, virtual learning environment, or a collaborative virtual environment, or a co uh, content management system, or a community of practices. These are similar topics, similar subjects. And let's say that students 1, 6, 11, and 16 uh, are working in a jigsaw group one for design and, impl uh, and implementing a learning management system. Then we can find, um, we can create expert groups. A student of each jigsaw group, one student of each um, jigsaw group can work on a specific topic of this subject. For example, for collecting to, 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 to investigate methodologies for collecting user requirements, for creating questionnaires, or um, um, for taking some uh, interviews. Another, uh, another expert group, group could be um, uh, the investigation of a methodology for writing down functional specifications. For example, for uh, utilizing UML 
for, uh, for writing functional specifications. Another expert group is, uh, is to investigate technologies for implementing such a web environment. And the last one is to uh, investigate um, uh, evaluation methodologies for evaluating their environments. Then, all the students of the Jigsaw group are reorganized again and f uh, reform again the, 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 the first group, the first Jigsaw group, in order to uh, work on uh, their assignment. And they have some specific knowledge about methodologies concerning re uh, requirements, concerning specification, technical implementation, etc. This is the, the scenario. The fishbowl, uh, the fishbowl technique uh, uh, is somehow different. Uh, here the students form two concentric cycles. The smaller design group uh, of students discussing and presenting a topic, and the larger, larger abstract group listening, observing, and commenting. The goal of this technique is to familiarize students with the structure and characteristics of uh, an in-depth discussion. And uh, here the students are able to acquire the necessary skills in observing team activities take, taking place in a dialectic environment. Uh, research shows that uh, feasible technique is effective in enhancing their activity within the traditional or the virtual class. And the uh, studious knowledge on, of the objects and themes they are debating is augmented. Here is... Um, uh, representation of this uh, technique. We have uh, the smaller side group for presenting something and the others comedic or suggesting something. And here are the jigsaw puzzle. Here, for example, is the expert group one and all the other students are comedic. Or here we can have the jigsaw group one with five students and all the other uh, attending and uh, uh, commenting on uh, the, the, the first exercise. So, following our evaluation methodology, we have many uh, steps, many phases. We have followed a blended learning process in our approach, face-to-face -face on and online inside uh, Second Life, before uh, each a second life session, we have some uh, preparatory uh, work to do. Uh, for example, before the first second life session, we, we need to create the second life uh, account. We need to pass the uh, familiarization session period and the collabora collaboration period among the members of its jigsaw group. Also, in the face-to-face -face, um, lectures, uh, I have tried to uh, present uh, them the, this process, the blended learning process, uh, and also the subjects of the jigsaw groups assignments and jigsaw groups formation. During the uh, second live session, the jigsaw groups presented and discussed uh, uh, <coughs> in the fishbowl room, and all these uh, phases are, are repeated, and uh, in order to uh, to support the students to. Um, to make their assignments. So, as I have uh, presented before, we have two types of rooms, the uh, jigsaw rooms here. We have um, uh, created five jigsaw rooms uh, and a white common meeting hall. Also, we have implemented um, boxes with uh, clothing specific to its uh, avatar group in order to wear them and, uh, and, and in order to uh, recognize them. And also we have <coughs> created uh, fishbowl rooms in order to support the fishbowl scenario where the students and teachers debated and groups presented their collaborative work on a presentation board uh, here is the presentation board. And uh, we have tried to uh, decorate, um, to, to keep the decoration uh, at a minimum, aiming at reducing the students' extraneous cognitive load. 
Here are some specific educational tools that we have implemented in order to support this, uh, uh, these scenarios. The first one uh, is the avatar clothing for uh, user role representation. I have presented this. Moderator's hats in order to uh, differentiate the user assigned to the role of moderator in uh, his or her group. Jigsaw search. Group members were differentiated based on a shared color, and the shared have indicators of for a group name and group number, and also expert group jackets, jackets uh, containing the expert group indicator label. This is the moderator belonging to Jigsaw Group 5 and expert group 4. Also, uh, we have tried to, to augment the non-verbal communication with avatar gestures. Uh, in order to <coughs> uh, represent uh, the raise hand function, uh, the encouragement uh, function, uh, to show point, uh, a different avatar, so self, clapping, etc., agreement, disagreement. Um, the triggering could be from a um, uh, head up display with some specific buttons and also with a um, uh, um, uh, some uh, specific words and the ch chat, uh, chat space. If you write down slash hand in the um, uh, chat space, then the, uh, your avatar will, will raise uh, its hand. We have a difficulty uh, in discussing a person who speaks when a crowd. For that reason, we have implemented the speaker uh, function with a ring uh, with a denotation speaker over uh, he, uh, the avatar of the students and the microphone. This is the microphone uh, near to the mouth. The student, if a student wish, uh, wishes to speak, then the, um, declares his uh, or her request by raising his or her hand. Then the tutor can uh, give uh, the speak the speech to, to him. Here is the now speaking tool. There are the real names in Greek now, and also the um, user names, uh, the fake names of the users here. Uh, this is only for the tutor. Uh, he is speaking now, but uh, three more students want to speak. And also, I can I give uh, the microphone to, to the, the rest of the users. Also, we have implemented a visualization tool. Uh, in order to help the student to inform the other that has a question without interrupting the speaker, uh, the user can write in the local chat three question marks, and then this uh, uh, icon uh, is uh, presented on top of his avatar. The same for an idea visualization tool. If a, a student wants to have, uh, ha, uh, have an idea, has an idea, and uh, would like to present it without interrupting the, the, the speaker, can create a similar, uh, can, can use a similar uh, functionality. In order to recognize the jigsaw group of, the, of a student, we have uh, created the colored arm chairs. Uh, the arm chairs were placed in the feasible classroom and they can automatically adjust their col the color of the group of the students uh, when the user sits in them. So I have in my mind that um, five students in the red, the red um, uh, jigsaw group and if, uh, by mistake, a student, a student of another jigsaw group, let's say the blue jigsaw group, sit down here, then I can say, oh, okay, this is a, um, a wrong place because we have four red and one blue. So please go out and then we can call another student. And it, this is uh, very, very useful for me in order to recognize the role of the users. I don't need to have a list with the roles, etc. Uh, from uh, 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 by <coughs> uh, by pointing uh, my camera on top of this 
Fishbowl room, I have uh, every information that uh, I needed. Uh, concerning the evaluation, uh, we have um, followed our uh, evaluation framework uh, using uh, questionnaires, uh, te text chart recording, and also video recording of, of uh, the whole process. In the pre-analysis phase, uh, we have used a um, questionnaire uh, in order to um, collect information about the technical and theoretical background of the students with regard to collaborative virtual environments in general. Uh, the majority of our students were in the possession of a computer system capable of running Second Life with broadband network connections and speakers and microphone for voice over IP communication. Uh, seven, more than 70% of the students had used collaborative so software in the past, but only half of them, almost half of them, were experienced in 3D virtual environments. Concerning the usability issues, we have um, uh, some results about the communication styles, metaphors, and also the, the other tools. Uh, the students uh, uh, preferred to use um, voice chat, not uh, text chat, for participating. Uh, the notes tools and uh, the 3D objects uh, were considered satisfactory and beneficial by the majority of the students. But the students uh, said that um, Second Life hindered the ability to share resources among the group because there is no uh, application sharing functionality in Second Life and we are working on this now. And uh, most uh, groups utilize the MSN, another tool, in parallel with Second Life, in order to collaborate in a text chat. Concerning the metaphors, uh, the avatar clothing proven to be effective according to the questionnaire responses. Most of the students commented these with uh, which they could uh, identify their group. Uh, it's thought that uh, uh, to have augmented the overall collaborative mood of the teams and also uh, the um, students agree that the new features implemented enhance the potential of the collaborative activity. Concerning the avatar, 60% of uh, students consider it important uh, that the avatar representation is as realistic as possible. Uh, also, the Second Life's avatar customization feature uh, <coughs> it was satisfactory for uh, the majority of the students. Uh, most of the students believe that the avatar enabled them to interact effectively with others as well as with available learning objects. Uh, and uh, also, um, uh, almost 70% uh, of the students consider them uh, instrumental in collaboration and communication. In general, uh, Second Life has some drawbacks and some uh, advantages. Uh, the disadvantages is um, the hard hardware requirements that uh, are needed for participating here. The coordination of the discussion for the students was um, difficult. Also, there is the scalability issue for a huge group of students, more than 20 users. Um, it's not so good because we cannot uh, reorganize the students uh, very well. And also there are some uh, disorientation uh, problems uh, in the 3D environment. Uh, for some students, uh, there are uh, problems. Uh, there is an overhead concerning the functionality, familiarization, and the avatar uh, preparation. And as I have said, the lack of shareable applications and uh, limited direction. Um, positive things are that uh, were the novelty of the approach, the distance learning support, the multiple communication channels provided, and the graphical representation. Concerning the pedagogical learning process issues, we can say in general that uh, we have a positive reaction regarding the overall experience of the collaborative learning techniques. More than 70% of the students use the platform beyond the limits, the limits of this activity. And also, <coughs> one third of them, or, or one quarter of them, use the platform beyond the standard or online meetings. 
However, if we, uh, when we have tried to compare Second Life versus traditional face-to-face -face method, uh, the, uh, the answers of the students are divided regarding the capability of the, ta the, the platform to support collaborative learning as opposed to the traditional face-to-face -face method. More than 40% uh, of the students said that it was harder to collaborate through Second Life in comparison with the traditional classroom. 50% uh, of the students believe that the effectiveness of the collaboration was reduced. And they said that the uh, traditional method was easier, more direct, and more useful. On the other hand, they <laughs> find that, yes, this is the problem with the distance. But if uh, the distance in the, is the only way, there is no other way, such as in your university, for example, uh, they said that uh, this technique is uh, more interesting and also compared to the other, um, yes, uh, um, co compared to the other collaborative, uh, computer supported collaborative learning platforms, they believe that Second Life is better. Concerning the potential use of uh, Second Life platform by our department, the majority of the students would like to see more collaborative learning techniques being implemented, and more than 80% uh, of them would be interesting in participating in online lectures. So, concerning the uh, uh, answers of, the, uh, of our research questions, um, as I have said, uh, Second Life uh, approach cannot substitute face-to-face -face interactions, but can supplement or augment them in a blended learning approach, maybe. Uh, Second Life approach is better than other distance uh, computer-supported collaborative learning methods. Second Life improves upon previous approaches in the context of facilitating collaboration and communication, and also increase, we have found an increase in student uh, interest, participation, and amusement. Concerning the support of the scenarios that we have deployed, we can say that the feasible fish, scenario <coughs> can be supported very, very well, either in the uh, organizational requirements or for the factual requirements. But uh, in the jigsaw um, scenario, we have found some problems. Uh, the necessary group dynamics of the jigsaw technique are sufficiently simulated collaboration, but co <coughs> collaboration is not assisted to sufficient degree because we need more tools in order to support it. In the jigsaw scenario, the students make the real work. In the fishbowl, they are discussing. So we need to, um, to uh, create more tools. And now, as I have said before, uh, we are trying to, to uh, integrate application sharing in the virtual world. Concerning the avatar representation, uh, we have resulted that there is a beneficial impact to the communication, their activity, and usability capabilities of the platform. <coughs> the gestures of the avatars were highly commended by the majority of the students. And, uh, but they, uh, are, uh, uh, they can appear fake or artificial compared to the real life. Um, a problem is that avatar representation does not seem to scale well with Second Life because if we are uh, in a large crowds, we have uh, some problems in order to find a specific user or to distinguish speakers or we have some problems with uh, uh, navigation and network lag. But uh, uh, we talk about scaling for more than uh, 100 of users concurrently in the, in the place. Concerning the metaphors and affordances that we have implemented, avatar clothing and group recognition architecture seems to have enhanced collaboration and learning space awareness. Also, also, query and idea expression, although underused, uh, and the present study hold the potential to augment representation, enhance perception, and uh, efficiently convey meaning. And we can conclude that Second Life improves upon previous approaches concerning CSCL, the support of CSCL. Uh, evaluation reveal an increase in student interest, participation, and amusement. Um, 
there is um, um, a beneficial uh, impact of the avatars concerning communication, their activity, and usability capabilities of Second Life platform. Uh, most of the students would like to see more collaborative learning techniques implemented by our de department, and they would like to uh, participate in online lectures. But we have the problem that we have a problem <laughs> because we can surpass the um, real life uh, traditional face-to-face uh, -face method. Um, uh, this presentation is um, based on uh, uh, some uh, publications in journals and um, basically on this and this. Uh, this uh, um, um, publication present the um, uh, results of our uh, of, of our um, signal, excuse me, this. Present the the, the results of our case study and this, this um, publication presents our evaluation framework for collaborative education in virtual environments. Uh, if you want, I can send you uh, the, um, some copies of these papers in order to study it. And I would like to thank you for, for your time and for your attention. And I'm open for questions if you have some.